to see without my eyes the first time that you kissed me boundless by the time I cry it's 9 30 in the morning I woke up at 8 today basically since we got back from our trip I've had this constant jet lag waking up so early in the morning it feels like you're in a different plane of dimension we got Brutus a new bed yesterday from Costco because we woke up yesterday and the first thing he did was pee all over his bed. Didn't you? Who peed all over his bed last night? You did. You did. Don't pee on this one, okay? Okay, you promise? Isn't it so creepy that I baby talk Brutus even though he's like 11 years old? I should talk to you like a stern adult. You're like 40 in dog years. So there's this brand called JW Anderson that I've been obsessed with for a minute because they make things like this. It's, it's penis shaped. I don't have a ton of pieces from him, but once in a while he does a collaboration with Uniqlo and this time I I tried to buy as many as I could because it was so good. I was also looking for like a Christmas look to go on Christmas day and I found a cute cozy look that I thought I could wear. So this is the top that I got. It's like festive but it's low key. JW Anderson is a British brand so you can kind of see like the British influence. It's like a rugby shirt. I think that's a British thing. I think. And then it has like this green red stripe detail on the sleeve, which is very Christmassy and festive. I'm gonna wear it with this. These are fleece pants, sweatpants, but together, I saw it on the model on the website and I was like, I need to look like him. Ironically, he was Asian as well, so I do look like him. It has that same color pattern over here. And then obviously love this pop of blue because I love blue. I'm blue. And then they also made a matching sweater with it. This fleece sweater, it's super oversized on me. Well, technically they're, they're all oversized and they're all extra small. I'm actually not that small, I'm 5'8". Well, that's relative, isn't it? Like some people think that's small. To me it is, I think 5'8 is average. I'm pretty average. But a lot of people seem to think that I'm like 5'6. That's a comment that I get a lot of from when I meet people. Oh, you're taller than I thought. And then I also got these two socks. They're heat tech socks. Heat techs are always useful, right, in the winter? I started hoarding them this winter. This one has that fun, um, what's that pattern called? Tartan, is it? Tartan pattern. Ironically enough, this is also like the same color as my elementary and middle school when I was back in Indonesia, so Love, love the memories. I was actually bullied a lot during those times, so maybe not not a good memory, but maybe I'll return that one <laughs> But this one's fun just super basic nice and navy and cream and green this colorway is just so me I feel like and the last thing I bought has nothing to do with the collection, but it's this hoodie that I got because one of my friends, Tony, that I went to Italy with was wearing this. And I was like, oh my God, that is the cutest thing ever. If you guys are looking for this, it's in the women's section and it's nice and cropped. So it doesn't look like heavy. I feel like this is a fun outfit for like a grocery run. I look very like NSYNC in the 90s. I'll probably just end up wearing this a lot at home. Kids so cozy. I want to show you guys my Christmas outfit because that's what I'm more excited for. So this is the top and the fleece pants. Do I not look so cozy? It, it feels like really huggable. I feel like if I see someone wearing this, I'd be like, oh, what a cozy, cute vibes. Do you want to cuddle? And then you wear this with it and you have your full on JW Anderson Uniqlo cozy cuddle look. Like where's the fireplace? 
let's roast marshmallows kind of vibe. I could see myself wearing these pants a lot because look at my butt. It looks so big because of the fleece. British. British, come in. Come on. Yeah. Eat it, it's your favorite. Did you eat your lunch finally? Yeah, you ate your lunch finally? Mm -hmm. Good boy. Yeah, you have to eat Korean food. Don't you feel that everything is getting cancelled right now? Like my haircut appointment, someone got COVID, so they cancelled it. All my friends are getting sick. This is the shit that we look forward to every single week. We can live our dream of being taken care of by our two Korean parents. Not that Max is not grateful to be raised in the French household, but I know how much he loves Korean food. And I love Korean food. We're lucky enough to be able to afford to get catered Korean food every single week. We're gonna take advantage of our adult money and, and do this for ourselves. This meal prep makes it seem like we have our life together. This fridge definitely does not. I'm gonna wear these socks. Oh wait, I was gonna return these. Nah, I'm keeping them. Not gonna let my bully win. <laughs> oh, so cute. I love it. It's like Scottish grandpa vibes. Except if I show this to like an actual Scottish person, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be like, that's not a that's not a pattern, not a Scottish pattern. I wonder if the wrong kind of tartan offends Scottish people. Like, is this offensive to you? Oops, I feel so cozy now. Hey Max. Yep. You want to see me do something truly obnoxious? What is it? <laughs> Such a French boy. <laughs> You're like a French caricature right now. Wee oui, wee. Oui. No produce it's ours. Whoa! The worst part of having soup is having to scoop them up from here. I'm gonna make such a mess, I just don't want Oh, I didn't do too bad. Bon appétit. Mm. So soft. Soft like me. Good lunch. Mmm. Mm. It's so fun like doing this catering thing because you get home cooked quality meal. That tastes like home food mm -hmm. made by your mom. It feels like there's someone taking care of us. <laughs> right. Even though we're paying them too. We're paying them. <laughs> Ooh. 